I am so excited. Oh my god, I just... I'm so immersed. But let me tell you why. So today, when we were driving, we were in the North Yorkshire Moors. Um, in the Peak District, and for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles, there was just heather everywhere. Now, because I'm wicked, I can't just go stomping into a field and start ripping this stuff up because I can only take what grandmother offers, right? So um, we pull over so that the ex could take um, photos of the heather, you know, the wild heather and that, because it was just the most stunning thing your eyes ever seen. Like I'd literally teared up. It was so beautiful. And there were sheep there. Now, remember I had that dream this morning about the lambs, the baby lambs? The sheep literally walked my, like, pointed my son and I to rabbit poo. Remember the baby, maybe the baby rabbits this morning? The sheep that were there grazing, the wild sheep, well, they were not wild, but they were running free, like there were no fences or anything. Um, and bad when we got to the bit that my son was to conjure. So I showed him how to cut it and that without it causing the plant pain and so that it could obviously keep growing. Um, so we cut the bits that were offered and um, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. There was a bee sitting on it. So like we knew, we, you know, like we followed the animal trail from my dream this morning. It was incredible. And then, because the thing is, the reason why I'm so excited about this is because this is the plant of uh, Isis and Osiris. And it means that I can use this um, in my funeral rituals, my funerary rituals. It also means that I can use it because, you know, I work with babies and pregnant mums. I can use it to do rituals for babies because I want to get myself ordained as a minister so that I can perform um, weddings and, you know, like... Um, not baptisms but you know like do um christening rituals and that for newborn babies and obviously the dying and that um for funerals and stuff um i can use this in um blessing pouches and that for the babies after they're born um the cool thing is this is the plant for um planet mercury and planet venus so um i can also use it on taurians libras gemini's and virgos um this is the thing though, um, because it's associated with Aphrodite, um, pagans and witches use this in fertility rituals, but the thing is, um, they, well, they'll throw it on fire, so they'll um, uh, use it like in teas, but okay, I've got to explain why this is wrong and bad. So um, they'll either throw it on fires or they'll drink it in teas and use it as like a morning after pill because it has no estrogen in it. So they'll they'll drink it um, so that um, they don't get pregnant after they've had intercourse. Um, but you cannot in any way, shape or form have this near um, the female reproductive system because it is toxic and if you have too much of it in the wrong doses it will um, poison your kidneys and shut it all down and you'll die um, but also as well the Celts believe that um, Heather is, has soaked up all the blood of every Scotsman that's died in battle because it's, a, it's the death plant so um, you know Isis so um, if you put this anywhere near the creation of babies and fertility it kills it that's why they'll drink it and use it as the morning after pill um so if you use this in a fertility ritual um you have a higher chance of having miscarriages and that because you're trying to create a baby and something that is steeped in death because um it's you know if if you have celtic bloodline if you have any sort of scottish ancestry um, you would be actually doing damage to your bloodline by associating heather with fertility. But it does mean that if you have um, Scottish or Irish in your blood, I can use this in your, you know, funeral ritual um, or also, you know, your, your um, blessing after you've had a baby because the baby's born then, it's no danger. So do not drink this, do not put this in your body and do not use this for, for fertility because you'll have miscarriages, it could stop you from getting pregnant, it could 
um, curse the pregnancies and, you know, put a lot of negative energy around the baby, which would make the baby grow up having all sorts of problems, emotional, mental, spiritual, whatever, because you're from the offset, you've put death around birth. Do you see what I mean? So it's like it's it's juxtaposed. But where this is good with babies is, like I said, because it's um, Osiris, so you've got the sun and the moon, all right? So um, it's fantastic for the blessing and protection of babies. The Irish, Irish gypsies as, as well, especially um, travellers, like your, your travelling people, your gypsies, um, give these as um, sprigs for blessings to put over cribs and stuff to protect babies from negative energy and... Um, you know, uh, anyone who wishes the baby or the parents ill will, because we all know people that aren't happy that people have babies to certain women or husband, you know, certain men or whatever. So um, I'm so excited about this. I can use this and so much stuff now. So what I'm going to do, because I was just so beautifully blessed by Isis and Osiris, um, I'm going to prepare it for um, to dry it out and that and then I can start using it and like 10,000 million things that I can do I'm so excited I feel so blessed it's like because um tomorrow as well we've got the sturgeon moon and I just announced my um honey of isis oil it's like she gave me a gift and I just I I'm I just feel so blessed I was just saying to my girl Michelle like Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, so this this is huge for me. I'm just so blessed, so blessed. So I just I had to share it because I was so excited. So I've got to uh, prepare it all now, so that I can uh, use it um, in ritual pouches and you know things like that. So I'm so happy and I just feel so blessed. So yay!